Derek with the Luminex. We're here in Heistown, New Jersey. We're going to take a look at this house, uh, Bald Face Hornets. I get, I get a call and they tell me, you know, I get all these calls like we have a wasp nest. They don't know what it is. It's a hornet's nest or a wasp nest, you know. They don't know what it is. So, like, I just, you, you, you don't know. You don't know what you're going to run into. So, you just price it over the phone. I think I really underpriced this one, but. It's the same procedure. This one's a little scary looking. Uh, and, they're, and I'm on their line of sight. So they can see me. They can see me. And they come right for for me. It's on this back part of the house. And I'm already getting set up on the other side. That's the only place where there's a plug. I wanted to plug here. The uh, well, let's Look at this thing. They still add on to it. Look at that thing. It's huge. Usually you see this one in the woods. Whoa, this one's coming right for me already. I'm not even suited up yet. I'm not suited up yet. That one is, I can get a close up of that, which I'm not gonna get too close. They're coming in like, like you wouldn't believe. And I got this call a week ago. And they told me, you know, maybe they'll try to do it themselves or whatever, but I mean, it's like there's a grill. I don't know if they've been using that grill or not. But uh, it looks like it's right in the hip roof and they're just going one way they're just going kind of going out in the woods I guess something must have happened must have took a tree down or something like that for, for a colony this big to get established and they're all they're scout, there's other scouts on the outside of the nest too just hanging out they can see me and when I was on the other side they, they came they came out my direction so like I took cover but I'm going to get set up right now I'm going to get suited up I'm going to wear not gonna wear like your traditional bee suit. I'm just gonna wear like, just gonna wear some protection, a little bit of protection, and a bee hat, and some gloves to make sure I, and then, you know, I'm not handling it right now. I'm gonna hit this thing about 20 feet away with my bee, patented bee duster. No company has this. Most companies will come in here and just spray the, spray the entry point right there. There's a little entry point, this one spot. And they would have to sit there and try to spray at it. And then they would have to come back later at another time. Hopefully it's dead, but it, it won't be. There's like 15 layers. And, uh, you know, they won't be successful. So uh, the way I do it, I, I, I'll kill this nest in five minutes. It'll be dead. And all I have to worry about are the foraging bees that are coming back from outside. And I, then I'm going to power spray the area with my special blend for outdoor use to create a chemical barrier and then I'm going to take this nest down do all this probably within 10 minutes once I get set up so I'm going to continue this video you can check out my second part uh, Derek with the Luminex and uh, you know, check this out I'm going to take this thing down there's another video I guess you have to search for it but uh, you'll see me going right at it with my bead duster and then uh, I guess there'll be a third part of me doing the power spraying and then taking it down because I don't have my helper today to uh, film me doing everything. So I'm going to set the camera up so you can watch me in action in uh, a couple more videos. And I can try to get an up-close view of this. Okay, have a nice day.